Okay, it's March 22nd, I'm out here on the Bay of Green Bay, but in Michigan waters. Uh, I'm going to try for some whitefish. And actually, I'm in an area where you can keep one walleye if I if I catch a walleye. So I'm going to uh, try my luck today. I haven't put a rod down yet. I'm in like 16 feet of water, I'm guessing, because I fished this spot before. It's kind of windy out here. I'm the only one out here. Okay. <clears throat> I wasn't even set up. I, uh, all I did so far is put my camera down, looked around. It was, uh, it's actually 16 feet deep. Uh, I set down my rapala, started jigging bottom, like just sight fishing, looking down the hole. Lo and behold, a nice white fish comes in, boom! Caught a fish within two minutes of uh, jigging. Cool. Hopefully he wasn't the only one around. I hope there's more. This is awesome already. One fish, a couple minutes fishing. Sweet! Got one on. Just been sight fishing these guys. Do not have my camera set up or anything. And man, nice big white fish. Look at this guy coming up the hole. Now these are Uper white fish because we're in the UP of Michigan right now, on, uh, which uh, is Upper Michigan. And I'm gonna grab my grabbers. Here we go, Mr. Fish. Got him. All right, second white fish. Nice biggie. Sweet. Late season white fish. Awesome. Okay, uh, number two white fish is on the ice. It's a little tough. Um, it is tough to sight fish today just because I have a lot of stuff in the water now that I caught a couple fish. I'll let that settle down. Um, I want to give some updates on. Uh, ice fishing gear that I've used this year. I'd like to give updates on what I use. Still loving the uh, Petula Ice Spikes, Micro Spikes. Absolutely great product. Um, I gave a review on one of my ice hole adventures about these little rods I got from uh, from Fish USA. Uh, I, I do not care for them as much as I thought I would. Uh, they are a little too lightweight for, for they are they are definitely too light for white fish. I feel they're a little underpowered, and the reel the drag's real touchy. It's either too heavy, too loose. It's hard to find a sweet spot. And both the two the two I bought, both of them, the tips uh, broke off. Um, I'm still using them because it was just the the last like three quarters of an inch that broke off, but both of them. So. Um, for, I'll keep using them for this season, but uh, next season I'm probably going to replace them with something a little heavier duty for uh, for whitefish anyway. This would make a good, this is a good crappie rod. I'll keep them around for like uh, fishing Wisconsin River for uh, crappies and large bluegills through the ice. But uh, but just feel they're a little underpowered for these big whitefish. Uh Another review too is uh, this new clam flip over I have with the black interior. Uh, I definitely like it. Like I said, uh, I've added skis to it. If you can see the skis, you slide back. I also have some fish, but added the skis to it. Made myself a little uh, a little fish trap here for my for my catch. I just slide over them. I cut their gills to bleed them out. And I just pull the sled over them. And now they can't go anywhere. And I'm fishing again. So, pretty nice setup. Definitely like this. Uh, it's a clam scout. Uh, and it's the extra. You can make it wider if you want. If you have a lot of gear out. So, alright. NFN out. Today's bait's been uh, this little perch. Perch colored jig and wrap, and I have uh, wax worms on the hooks. And the first fish I caught was uh, tapping bottom, but the second fish I caught actually suspended. So if I can get more suspended, I could probably catch them on camera. Okay, what I'm doing is uh, I'm pounding bottom. I'm just beating that 
that jig and wrap on bottom and then uh, looking down the hole and watch and watch for him to hit you know and uh, pretty effective just uh, just rocking that thing beating bottom but that only that took one fish and I had two others suspended like five feet off bottom where I came up and they came through and hit it suspended so you don't have to always hit bot pound bottom but it does work both you know you have to look down the hole and figure out what's working or use your vexlar whatever you have camera it all works there was a fish down there I missed one and I just had another hit so there's there's some fish around I'll try to get one on camera Oh, missed him again. Oh, man, just missed one. Shoot. Went to turn on my camera, I gave him some slack, and he popped off. Let's see if I can get another one. Try to get it on camera. I haven't had a chance to set up my underwater camera yet. I've been having too much fun. Just sight fishing them. Yeah, I'm not sure the water is clear. He's good enough to to catch it on camera that well. I'm going to have to try to set up the underwater camera so we can see what's going on. Okay, this is how I'm spending my afternoon. Uh, caught two fish, missed a couple earlier and then uh, I couldn't give you any underwater views because my damn auger stuck in the damn ice second time this has happened so uh, yeah this is being a real pain in the butt today uh, I do have one hole drilled so hopefully I can get my auger unstuck using a pipe wrench and uh, I'm thinking maybe that's why strike master stopped making free bladed augers because they get stuck that's what I'm wondering, because um, this is the second time it's happened. Ruined my whole uh, afternoon here. So, ruined my auger. I got it all chewed up from using a pipe wrench. I had to go in the town, grab a pipe wrench, come back out, and I'm still not getting it out. So, that's, that's how my afternoon's going. At least I caught a couple fish. Okay, fish on. Sorry I didn't get it on film. Man. It's tough to catch them on film, but I shut the camera off for a minute, and I thought he left, he came back, or he, this could be a different one, okay? Oh, shoot. Got off. Had to drag him a little too tight, I think. Man. Oh, well, missed that one. I've missed more than I've caught in all. Able to get my auger unjammed, and I actually remembered probably why that auger is giving me such a hard time um, I think it's actually bent a little bit because I set it on the ice and I went to reposition my truck a couple years ago and gave it a little tweak by accident hit it with my tire and maybe I'm guessing that's what's happening why I'm having a hard time all right anyway back to the fishing got the hole drilled gonna put down my camera hopefully we'll get some good views I'm actually going to send down my contour camera, the same one I use on uh, a lot of my salmon fishing videos. We'll send that down there and see what we can record. My camera set up real nice view down there you see my jig jumping around now the reason I like this spot is because there's zebra mussels as you can see in that camera picture 
and whitefish they come around and they like to find food in these zebra mussels so that's why I like this spot okay I'm gonna try a couple flies for give, a, give them a try I got my black uh, trout fly and then the real tiny little uh, fly that's just a gold little bug looking thing anyway we'll give those a try for a little bit just to see what happens Hey, there's a fish coming in. He's zooming in. I think he goes after my bugs. Oh. Hey, here comes a fish. Let's see if he bites. Looking around. I wonder if he's scared of the camera. Camera shy. Of course, when Ooh, nice. these guys fight hard, that should be recorded on the contour camera that hit. Uh, oh, comes off, man. <sighs> Frustrations. Fuck. What a nice battle. That thing put up a hell of a good fight on this little rod, and uh, hopefully. I can catch some more. They really like that little perch. I took off that belly hook um, and just have wax worms on the ends. So he seemed to like it. I just, I just could not get him up through the hole. Operator error. So let's see if we can catch another one. Okay, one in the hole. I gotta see where I put my tongs. Oh well, I gotta put my hand down. Kind of a waiting game. Um, waiting on fish to come in. When they do come in, it's about a 50% chance that they'll they'll go after my bait. So, just gotta put in the time and wait for the next one to come in. Right now I'm 3 for 6. I uh, had some issues with the auger and that, but other than that, it's been a beautiful day. Okay, that happened quick. Two came in. One bit and missed, and then he came back around, and then bit, and I caught him. Nice big one. Uh, three of my four right now are really are good size. I'll have to measure them up and see how big they, they are. Nice fatties. A lot of meat. Okay. I just measured that, that big guy up, and uh, yeah, he was 21 and a half inches. That's a, that's a pretty hefty whitefish there. Good fight. Man, these guys are fun to catch. That's it. Uh, I got four nice big white, well, three nice big ones and one uh, smaller size white fish. Uh, I'm just, I don't think I'm going to wait them out. I'm kind of getting bored. And anyway, that's enough for a meal. I'll cook those up for dinner for my wife and I tomorrow. It's going to be fish fry for Sunday. This is NFN back here. In Upper Peninsula's waters, the Uper Uper waters, I'm gonna try my luck for some more whitefish again. Um, this time I got my buddy Big Todd. He's I got them all set up over there, and I'm gonna try our luck. It's the last Saturday of March. I think it's March uh, 29th, I believe. So I'm gonna give her hell. Okay, this week uh, I got everything situated real nice before I even put a rod down. Um, have all my stuff out uh, every situation I need I have one for walleyes a bunch of jigging wraps even have a, a crappie rig set up 
Got my grabbers, pull. I took my uh, seven inch uh, bit this week. Um, I had some problems with my uh, nine inch bit last week where it got stuck in ice again. So that one is decommissioned. But luckily I do have a seven inch. So I drilled two holes so I can actually sight fish out of this hole and put my uh, jig down that hole. Um, but I'm not gonna have to sight fish too much because I already set up my camera and the camera's a lot easier on my neck than looking down a hole. So that's how I roll. Okay, sorry I didn't get this on film, but uh, I was watching Todd's camera. Anyway, I wasn't paying attention and this big old whitefish came in and smoked my lure and I didn't even watch it. It just, I felt it. Wham! Look at this guy. He fills up that 7 inch hole right all the way up. Sweet! What a monster! Look at that thing! Alright! Nice! Magnum! <laughs> what a nice white fish! Cool! Okay, my buddy Big Todd, he's fishing uh, about 20 yards away from me. And uh, he's caught one and he's missed one. So there's some fish around and they're nice ones. It's just that uh, it's not a ton of fish around. So there is a long wait in between seeing fish. I just noticed that uh, the current's getting a little stronger. And all of a sudden I started marking a couple fish. They haven't noticed my bait yet though. So I'll just keep pounding bottom until I notice it and hopefully I'll catch one. Got one looking. I went for a long while where I was not seeing any fish, so I drilled a whole nother set of holes. Uh, a little further out past uh, Big Todd and I put myself right on a patch of sand but it does have zebra mussels around so I'm gonna I'm gonna try working the sand for a while just to see if I can get some uh, whitefish to come in. My third set up now I'm definitely seeing some rocks um, there's a lot of zebra muzzle, mussel covered rocks down here I saw some fish in the background, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can catch one here. Okay, it's been pretty slow for me for quite a while. We went to lunch, um, I went to lunch, came back, and um, right now I'm trying just a white jig, like a 164th ball head jig, 164th ounce uh, with a wax worm. You can see it on the screen. And plus I put out my contour camera to get some uh, real nice HD footage down there. So, uh, Big Todd update. Uh, he caught one more, so he is currently three for four, and I'm still one for one right now. Saw one in the background. Hopefully, he'll come in. There's a snowmobile riding or driving around, making a lot of noise, moving the fish around. Hopefully, he moves them over here and they start feeding.
Jesus. Let's open with Jason again. Okay, this is how we ended. Uh, we started talking to a guy, so I didn't get much uh, video towards the end. I did catch that one right before dark. Uh, put up a hell of a battle. Was pulling drag. Had the back reel on him. Went on a big run. So but these are uh, Todd's three, and I just got the two. It was uh, kind of slow, but God, what a gorgeous day, hey Todd? Yeah, so uh, I had fun. Yeah, you I'll tore him up, huh? Do it again, yeah. Yep. Be a little more action, but hey, this is gorgeous. Yep, the sun was out. I ran in for lunch, brought lunch back out on ice, and uh, just had a really nice day on ice. So, met a uh, made a new friend out here and stuff, one of the guys we talked to. So, turned out all right.